feels a little like air you can crawl through. There is no denying it is tropical out there. And you're certainly trying to crawl out of it and far yeah. away. <laughs> and that's because of the high dew point. But one viewer wrote into us, his name is Dave Swanton, and asked us, why do we rarely talk about relative humidity? And WBZ Chief Meteorologist Eric Fisher is just the person to get the answers. You may notice on WBZ that we almost never talk about relative humidity, but we always bring up the dew point. Well, why? Because relative humidity is just that, it's relative. It does a pretty poor job of telling you how it feels outside, which is all most people want to know. For instance, if it's 95 degrees outside with a dew point of 70, the relative humidity is a mere 44%. Okay, that doesn't sound so bad. But in reality, that's an extremely hot and humid day with a heat index of 102. Not only is your hair a frizzy mess, it's downright dangerous for anything strenuous outdoors. The dew point is a much simpler metric to keep an eye on. By New England standards, over 60, that's muggy. Over 65, it's pretty darn humid. Over 70 is downright tropical. And in our most humid stretches, it can even top out around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's air you can wear, more typical of New Orleans than Boston. So what exactly is the dew point? It's the temperature which you'd need to cool the air in order for the water vapor in it to condense. Or in other words, if the dew point is the same as the temperature, it's either raining or you're standing in a fog bank. When that happens, you have 100% relative humidity. And that's useful for us as forecasters as it tells us when there's precipitation or clouds to worry about. But again, it doesn't really tell us much about how you feel. After all, we're not sweating it out in humid conditions when it's snowing, right? You know what? I love that we are answering these viewer questions because I have some of the same questions. I'm learning right along with the viewer. That's right. And I think we know from that that today was, in fact, tropical. That was an apt description, yes. Eric. And it also sounds like we are about to get a little bit of a break. We are about to get a little bit of a much needed break. We really haven't had one since around no. the 4th of July. And if you look at the numbers up to this point, it's been the third most humid July on record by average dew points. You take together all the days here up through the 17th. Well, today's numbers are not even in that yet. That will happen after midnight night tonight and you notice that last year as well as the year before that they're all in the top five too yes summers are getting more humid over time here in new england